What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video today. I'll be going over one of my favorite Warlock subclasses to use right now and how my build is on the Voidwalker subclass. So you're going to want bottom tree Voidwalker, which is a two minute of hunger. Uh, main thing to note on the subclass is the devour feature, which is triggered by either getting a melee kill or consuming your grenade. So it can be triggered by each of those things. Basically, once it's active, uh, every kill gives you full health and replenishes grenade energy, which, you know, I would say is pretty good for survivability reasons. For my exotic, I'm using a helmet called Nezrak Sin. Basically, any void damage kills increase ability, energy, and recharge rate. This obviously goes hand in hand with your void abilities on the subclass, but there's also some benefits when it comes to weapons and seasonal mods as well. Next, going over the weapon, I guess the main weapon I use is the Recluse. Um, with Season of the Undying Artifact, there are two mods that can go together, which is the Anti-Barrier Rounds, which can penetrate shields. Plus, it is strong against barrier champions, which you can put on this SMG. You can use it on auto rifles uh, and SMGs, but with this one being void and basically having great damage on it, uh, it can also go with the Breach Refractor uh, mod that also comes with the Seasonal Artifact. Basically, it grants you grenade energy on um, final blows with shield piercing weapons, and there's the benefit of if, you're me if a member of your fire team shuts down a barrier champion, you're allowed to get grenade energy back as well. So note that with the Recluse, you have the anti-barrier rounds and as a void weapon, so it's able to contribute to the Nezrak Sin perk, which allows you to get your void abilities back faster. So that goes hand in hand. Plus, with Breach Refractor, you get the grenade back more often. So, plus, if you have Devour, like, that in turn allows it to proc over and over again. So you can kind of tell where this is going. Uh, cough, cough, uh, gr grenades. Going over two other seasonal mods I like to use with this build, which would be the Overload Grenades and Oppressive Darkness. Now... Overload Grenades lowers the enemy's damage output and slows down the use of their abilities, plus it is strong against Overload Champions. That essentially opens up the, I guess, the ability to not have to rock a weapon with the Disruption Rounds or whatever you want to call it. But on the class item here, we have Oppressive Darkness, which adds a debuff to enemies, so you're able to do extra damage to them for a short time, which I really like this. This is fantastic. Uh, I'm able to actually use this very, very often, and especially if you use Devour, Get those grenades you can literally like basically add a debuff to any enemy and since you're going to be having grenades constantly you'll just be able to go crazy as you can tell the whole purpose of this build is to pop devour get kills with void anti-barrier weapons and void abilities to trigger faster ability regeneration specifically grenades which when used on enemies cause them to lower their damage they do slow down their abilities and add a debuff which allows you to do more damage and rinse and repeat this whole thing plus you get health back on kills which i mean fantastic great survivability uh, when it comes to a weapon that isn't recluse in the energy slot if you want to be effective be sure to use a void weapon that can put out good dps or have the perk demolitionist again this whole thing has been around you know getting your grenade and what i've found is that i have an optative right here it is void and you can toss the anti-barrier rounds on it and it comes with outlaw and demolition it's not saying you need this role to have it be you know 100 percent perfect but you know, I've seen people use the Optative Hand Cannon with Demolitionists and the rounds uh, and get that grenade back even faster than with Recluse. The only reason I use Recluse is because it's just really fast to add clear and it allows me to get that grenade anyway. So, not a big deal right there. And then for Heavy, now, it, it is kind of interesting because you could you could go with a Void Heavy weapon. Um, you know, sometimes I use Deathbringer. Now, with Leviathan's Breath, which I know it's not that strong right now, but at least in the current state of the game I, i'm gonna be dropping my review on it and i will be mildly roasting this weapon sorry everybody but it is void so it can it can go toward the void abilities plus it has the unstoppable rounds but i would also look at the edgewise machine gun because it can come with the demolitionist perk which is pretty good even though it's not void uh the reason it's great is because if you pair field prep and demolitionist with something like a backup meg uh Basically, you can go through most of the mag and then toss off a grenade and have it auto reload because of demolitionist. And since you're having that grenade very often, you don't need to waste your time reloading this weapon almost at all, which is pretty cool. Uh, in general, this is very good solo build for this whole thing, uh, especially when there are a lot of enemies you can chain. For higher tier activities, it is a little harder just because the whole thing here is just to go through, just destroy enemies. But with 980 activities, you're not able to basically just go through them as quickly. Uh, but I would say in most activities, this build can be extremely effective. 
We're now at the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, but there are three things I want to go over. First up, my clan, the D1 Fire Team, is looking for active players in the Destiny community. Our members play all sorts of activities from casual PvE and PvP to the end game content. If you're actively playing Destiny 2 and want the benefits of a bigger clan, the link to join is below. It'll say clan link. All you have to do is request a join and myself or one of the admins will approve you. If you're with a smaller clan and want the benefits of a bigger clan and you have like, let's say, like seven to 10 members, I'm just using that as an example. But if you wanna come over, just send me a message on any of my social media links and we'll try to get something set up. Number two, if you wanna help support me, there's a link below that says best way to support me. That'll take you to a four minute video. If you wanna go check that out, that'd be awesome. But if you don't wanna do that, you can always like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video and all that good jazz if you wanna do any of those things. Lastly, we have a link to the community Discord below. Just a heads up, we're looking for anyone with moderator experience to potentially run the Discord. I know for myself, I'm more of a player instead of a manager. So if you have some moderator experience, just send me a message and we'll try to get something set up. I know for myself, I'm on Xbox, but if you guys would like to talk or chat with me, Discord is gonna be the best way to do those things. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.